guess where we are going thrifting today. Are you guys ready for this? Check out this view. Here's your clue. It is the first incorporated city west of the Rockies. It is the historic town that was the very end of the Oregon Trail. Today we are here in Oregon City. Look at this. That is a rainbow in the mist right there. That is a sign today is going to be a fabulous day, friends. I have been meaning to get out to Oregon City for a while now and check out the Vintage Nest. A sweet subscriber told me about this place and they have over 60 vendors here. I had a very similar mid-century Lucite table. This one is $2.95 for the set and I really love these smoked glass top ones. They look awesome. And this one's kind of unique because it has these cutouts in the Lucite backing on the chairs. And I've never actually seen that before. The ones that I had were a little bit more of the classic tulip style. They were really neat because they swiveled. I have a very similar tooled leather wallet that I use all the time. So I've gotten quite a lot of requests asking me to pick up one and find you guys some. So I am definitely gonna be getting this one here today. These are so cute. They are butterfly candle holders. I've actually never come across ones like this. They are $22 for the pair, and I think I'm gonna grab these because I think I could sell them for anywhere between $40 and $50. I'm one of those weird people that loves nutcrackers, but to be honest, I never use them. I grew up always having nuts on the table and a nutcracker, and I can't remember once in my entire lifetime actually cracking a nut, but it's so cute, I'm gonna get it. I grew up having a pair of parakeets and I always loved these style of cages. I think they are so fabulous. I wish I could have birds right now, but I don't think Lorenzo would do well with birds. I think he would probably try to kill them. So no bird cage for me today, but this is a really cool one and it's only $75. Since summer is upon us, I have been looking for lots of different outdoor entertaining pitcher and cup sets. This Blendo set is really great. I love the key lime color. And one of my favorite things about mid-century barware is when it has the ombre kind of a faded look as it gets darker towards the bottom. This is a great set for $35. I actually really love to have these types of dining tables as indoor sets. Most people probably think of these as something you would put on your back patio, but I've had a set in my house before and I think it looked really great. I like to switch things around and so if I buy something I know I'm gonna sell later, I like to try it out in my house and enjoy it for a bit. And honestly, I really liked the look of this table and chair set in my living room. I think it turned out great. For those of you who've been worried about your girl not buying enough brown things, don't worry. Even though I've been getting a lot of very fun, colorful things lately, I will still forever be your brown girl. This is a fun ironwood cactus piece. I've never seen it with the eagle on top. They have $28 on this, and that's a really good deal because these typically sell for $50 and above online. And you know what I always say, if you've never seen it before, that's when you know to pick it up. Although I didn't pick it up. 
There are some really pretty jewelry pieces in this case I want to take a look at. So they were pulling out furniture as I was walking into the store and look what they pulled out while I was in the store. I just got my dream mid-century fiberglass plant stand. I don't know if you guys remember when I missed out on the entire bar set, but now I at least have the plant stand. Okay, I've got the plant stand in the car and a bag full of little goodies and now I'm headed two blocks away. There are supposedly two more little vintage shops that I've got to check out. One thing I am really on the hunt for right now is some really fantastic mid-century brutalist hardware. It is so hard to find. In fact, I've never found any, but I know it's out there and I'm on a mission and I'm gonna find it. Okay, I told you guys I was into nutcrackers and look how incredible this set is. So this is a mid-century Israeli set and this almost looks like it was supposed to be in the style of an actual like cart that would carry the nuts. And then over here you have the nutcracker. That is fantastic. What an incredible, incredible set. Brass, coral, and turquoise catching my eye, and it's only $12. Definitely going to snag this baby. It is always the things that are not for sale, like the actual building pieces that I really want. There wasn't a lot of mid-century in this place for me, but there's some beautiful antiques, and you definitely should stop here if you are coming to town. Whenever I see something that has a beautiful pattern, design, or colors on it, I really like to think outside the box and look at it and think of, is there a different way that I could reuse this piece? This piece is so beautiful and it would make a great little storage box if you wanted to hide some of your beautiful jewels in it. I started collecting a lot of tiki and Polynesian pieces last year. And this one right here is $38, which is a great price for a carved wood piece. It says Kana on the back, and I believe that that is actually a Maui demigod, but it's also a popular name in Hawaii. So I'm not sure if that's the artist's signature or if this dude is Kana. These are my favorite types of cases to look through because you push the button, they start spinning, and you never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes it's empty and there's nothing in there for you. I need to bring my sister here. I feel like we could find some really fun things for my niece. These kind of stores are so fun because there are so many throwbacks to your childhood. 
When I first walked in this store, I didn't think there was going to be a lot of stuff here for me because there were so many toys and collectibles and things that I don't know a lot about. But when you get to the back of the store, there are tons of display cabinets full of antiques. Just when I thought I was walking out of the store with only one thing in my hand, I spotted by the cash register a box full of sterling silver in a bunch of little bags. So I politely asked, is there any way I can dig through that box down there? My favorite thing to do is to dig. I don't like to find treasures too easy. You gotta work for it. It makes it a little bit more fun. All of us thrifters know that's the thrill of the hunt. This makes me so happy to know that they took the time to go through all of this sterling silver, individually bag it and price it. They probably did research on it when so many places will just take the easy way out and they will take a box full of sterling and get it melted and just scrap it for the silver price so that they can get their return on immediately. So that is just wonderful that they took the time to go through this. And I think in the long run, they're going to get their money's worth for it. And I'm thrilled because now I get to dig through here and pick out the pieces that I love the most. This one is so beautiful here. Oh my gosh, their pricing is amazing. Did you see that? That was only $6. When you're looking to buy sterling silver, it's a pretty big investment. Even though the pricing on these pieces is really great, it does add up quickly. And so what I'm trying to do is find pieces that I think are really unique, really desirable, and things I haven't come across before. If you're wanting to learn more about sterling silver and jewelry and what you should grab, my advice is to get out there and get digging through things because the more you have it in your hands and the real deal right in front of you, the easier it is for you to spot what is authentic authentic sterling silver, what is good quality, and what are designer pieces. I am so glad that I stopped in there. I was almost about to go to my lunch with my friend and skip that place and I'm so glad that I didn't because I got a bag full of sterling. I got my little planter there in the back. This is turning out to be a wonderful day. Let me show you guys what I got. I'm probably gonna pull out most of these back at home for you, but I have to show you the dragon. I'm so darn excited about this. So I was kind of nerding out about Lord of the Rings while I was there talking with the guy that was going through comic books. And we decided that this looks like Smog from Lord of the Rings. So this guy's name is Smog. I am not a fan of this chain right here. I think it's a little bit intense. So I think I'm gonna take this giant chain off and I'm gonna put this on maybe a sterling collar necklace. Smog will be coming to my next shop sale. Bohemian brass bracelet. It's missing one little stone, but I feel like that's not that big of a deal. No one would even notice it. And I'm trying to add more brass to my collection right now. So I thought for $12, this was a great deal. This makes me think of a country song. You've got cowboy hats and beach sandals, but a couple of the beach sandals are broken. So I think I'm gonna rework some of these cowboy hats into some awesome dangle earrings. So many great pieces. I was so excited to get home and go through these. I was just getting this all laid out and set up and I felt like I was getting ready to film an unboxing video and it was cracking me up. But I wanted you guys to be able to see close up the items that I got. 
So here's my beautiful dragon. He's so amazing, I love him. This is the cowboy hat sterling bracelet that has some broken flip-flops. It probably could be used the way that it is if I added a new clasp to the end. The scent here is broken off and someone just put like a little wire there. I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna be taking apart this piece because I think that I could make some really beautiful sombrero hats hanging with either feathers or some other turquoise bits that I've got in my collection. I'll show you guys what I do with this in an upcoming episode. I got this pair at the very first vintage store. They're sterling silver and they were $15. I thought they were very beautiful. Oh, I really love this piece. I think this one's beautiful. It's gonna be great to wear this summer with some bohemian dresses. Let's see if it will actually fit my wrist. Oh, maybe it's too small for me. You guys, I might have to sell this. One of you lucky small wristed people out there is gonna get this beauty. So it is missing a stone right there and right there. So it's missing a couple stones, but it's a really beautiful piece. So I will pop that one into my next shop sale. I'm kind of sad, I was looking forward to wearing that one. But you can't have it all. This one was a splurge, it was $40, but it's a beautiful Mexican sterling piece and it's really nice and heavy and it's got the stamps right there on the inside. These are my favorite pieces to wear when you stack bracelets. I think this type of design looks really great when you have a stack of them and they all have mix and match designs. This one was a splurge, but it was a good investment. I think something like this should be able to sell for around $80. What's in here? Some of the stuff I never took out of the packages, so I'm not positive on the exact details. Let's see, these are just some nice heavy sterling earrings. They say sterling, sterling, nothing else. Those are really nice. Classic hoops, can't go wrong with that. Oh, this one's so pretty. Look at the agate stone on that. I love, love, love agate stones. Beautiful detailing, it almost has an Art Deco vibe. I'm pretty sure it's newer than that, but it kind of has that little stacked look that you see in a lot of Art Deco pieces. Beautiful piece, love this. How much was this? That was only $6, score. This one has some stamps on the side. That's beautiful, I love when the design is stamped into the sterling on the outside. Gorgeous piece. This is really unique too, because it has a flush mounted stone, so it's not raised up. Well, that's a nice, comfortable one too. Beautiful, how much was this one? That was only $15. I got this one even though I don't stash away a lot of Christmas things. I feel like you can have a reindeer any time of the year. This is a nice little brooch and it's stamped here on the back and it says Mexico Sterling, made in Mexico Sterling. Yeah, he's a great one. And he was only $7. Another pair of fabulous Mexican sterling earrings. These ones are nice and large, but they're really lightweight. I love all the design and details in them. Gorgeous, gorgeous. How much were these? These were $20. How's my unboxing skills going, you guys? <laughs> so this one was $6. Oh, that's beautiful. I think this is a Zuni piece. Ooh, this kind of almost looks like the artist Begay, Francis Begay, maybe? Let's see what it says. I'm gonna have to get my loop out. I think that there is an actual signature there, but this is beautiful. It's got mother of pearl turquoise inlaid with some black onyx and coral. That is a great deal. And it was only $6. Oh my gosh. You guys, I left an entire box full of sterling. So if any of you guys live in Oregon City, you might wanna get there quick before it's all gone. Tell them I sent you and say, hey. This one was $10 and it is a sterling flower necklace with an abalone shell right there in the center of it. And last but not least, we've got some more tiki guys. Look at this. Today was the vintage tiki day. This one was $26, so it was a little bit more than a lot of the other pieces, but I thought it was really unique. I've never come across one with these kind of Polynesian tiki looking guys. Oh, and then a freshwater pearl bracelet over here that I got at Vintage Nest tooled leather wallet, these beautiful butterfly candle holders, my little wooden nutcracker, I thought this guy was fabulous. And then this little thing, beautiful carved wood container, perfect for putting Q-tips or bobby pins in. And then the most exciting thing that I got today has got to be my fiberglass planter. I have been on the hunt for one of these spun fiberglass planters for years. I think it's gonna look amazing on my back porch with a large fern in it. 
Here it is on the back porch of our Vancouver house, which we just listed on the market yesterday. We are so excited to see how it sells, so please wish us lots of luck. This is gonna be a forever piece in whatever home I'm living in. Oregon City was so worth the trip out there. I had a blast. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today and seeing what treasures I found. And I will see you guys in a brand new episode soon. Bye.